how we are actually exploring and evaluating and kind of, uh, you know, use. Okay, one there. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask a question. Yeah. Uh, what's the difference between uh, an associate and an, an uh, what's the difference between associate and entry level? And as a ten academy trainee, where do where does one lie? I mean, so normally an associate. Um, I mean, I would be very much. Um, it's just in, the, in terms like so. Is that like? part of the job descriptions that you see or, or yes it's, it's part of the it's part okay. of the job descriptions that I yeah see. maybe the academy team i don't know who that is but just proceed okay hello yeah good morning hello. i, I would love to jump on that um quickly so entry levels mainly aim at recent graduates i think one day we were having this discussion entry level they are like recent graduates or individuals we just note to a year professional experience you know so it's like you're trying to step in your first step into that specific career and then associate usually it requires that you have something beyond entry level so something between one to two or to three years of really want work experience and then uh, the follow-up question, which I was going to be replying, was uh, like, what level a training from Ten Academy uh, is at? So we are on different levels because we have different prior work experiences. So I can say some are just on entry level, like those who are just graduating and then stepping their first step into engineering roles. And there's and then we have others who are on associate level because they have had prior software engineering or software development experience or any other really fun work experience within uh, that that you know that serves as like first steps to enter into the, the the specific work experience that are related with our tracks. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So. Thanks, thanks, Pascaline. So, um, yeah, it means for me, apply, apply. Like, it 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 means. I mean, just I also checked. Um, in a way, like let, let let us be very honest. You're not gonna apply for, the like in the usual manner, right? In a way, if that is the case, we wouldn't require. I wouldn't even advocate like one to three years experience means. Then academy graduate you know so but that's from day one when we start then academy the issue was experience versus people right a, a lot of you know and a lot of you don't have that much experience and even if you have experience it's probably in, in different areas and what you are like what what you are getting trained most of the time you don't have even a company that you probably that offers even that in in most of places nowadays it's probably slightly better so that means in you know the it isn't easy for many people from africa to have experience after you know even just even if they were working as um in the areas that we are applying so i would not be too strict about the level but i would be more about is like justifying why you you are at that level and i think as pascal said and it is more i would the, the thinking framework i would like you to have is yeah it's like this these things yesterday we said it there's entry level there's associate level or there can be mid senior and i would still apply given that i can just look at it and then i say like okay yeah i can you know i can defend myself and so i think that's what i would I would recommend and i think having clarity and understanding is very useful the reason why it's useful is that you're not just applying and then you know you go there and they they tell you but we're asking associate level you know do you qualify and you're like what is associate level again of course it's important not to say that so it's good to be very informed that it requires the job requires maybe two three years the job maybe requires a mid senior role the job this and that 
and you have to be prepared for that mentality. It's like, you know that you are not wasting their time. It's just because you're confident or, and because you, you, you think like you have this, this experience and this, this, um, you know, intensive things and you can do it and you are a quick learner and you only need one, two weeks, um, to adapt. And I think that mentality is what would convince people. And of course, when they see your, um, um, when they see your CV and cover later, where you are focusing is a lot more on that. And I think if you have seen some of the generated CVs that we do, a lot more of it, there is slightly justification for that, why you are actually, um, you know, why you fit, right? And even like it kind of provides either through work experience and others, it would just be a little bit creative in terms of assigning you know, what work experience you have or not. So hopefully we'll get, we'll nail that in terms of like how the, the other part, how you are gonna be seen, it shouldn't be your work. Like, it, you know, it's a branding and branding is a marketing issue and marketing should not be, you know, you should be, you, you should be the CEO of your company, that means you, and the branding company, the branding aspect of it, we can do it like in a way as, as much of it. That's That's the thinking, but of course, until it works, you have to do it yourself that one. So, but let me just stop there. Yeah. So, do you want to ask again? Yes, I, I wanted to. Yeah, I, I've seen something that Abu Bakr has mentioned that there there are some entry level jobs that require like must PhDs and masters that I've I've, yes. I've found a few of those. But at, at the same time, I wanted to ask you: Is it uh, advisable to apply for a job that is, let me say? eight to nine hours ahead of your current time zone, like um, Australia, I, I, New Zealand. I would say, I would say less. I mean, I know some uh, Ten Academy people who, who got employed like in Australia, but most of them, they would, they would be saying, yes, they, that would become the, the, you know, the con they, they might raise that one as a potential issue. So I, I would say it is, it's, I would not prioritize. So if you are excited, maybe you can apply it without taking too much effort. But I think those are, I would consider it semi noise in that sense because of the, the time issue. Yeah. At least if it's not overlapping. I mean, in a way it's overlapping at least for about six hours in the morning and you can wake up early. But yeah, I think, in a way, the US is more or less similar, you know, right? Especially in, if it's um, on the other side of the US, on the uh, west side, so it's gonna be similar in in some of the Canada, so in some of Canada. So it's it's okay. I think I would be, I would not put that one as my filter. I think in almost always, I would consider many of these things as filter, and I would only put filter when I have the alternative uh, uh, in a much abundant way. And I would say for now, I would not put time. I would take co the consideration and I would think about how to argue that you, can, you should be prepared not to say that, yeah, I would wake up every, every time, like every morning. You, know, you should not promise that. You should just say like, very realistic because this is not gonna be a one, you know, you shouldn't promise for your date, like, yeah, forever is gonna, whatever I will do in, in my life. I think, especially when it comes to job that is not, most likely, I mean, show your intentions, but not, not you know, you should be realistic. So you can only probably think of changing your character, start you know waking up around six a.m. and not not before that. And so you can calculate roughly around six seven a.m. to the time that they would normally. Eleven. If you are in the, in the a work hour of like, let's say three four hours, and but then so you can say like that's great. You know that's we, we you know that's the issue. But you can say also that this is an advantage for some companies because in those periods you can have like the stand ups and stuff, the contact time, and then the other times you would continue the work. Right. So in a way that some companies actually want to hire in different time zones so that 
they have a 24, like a team that works 24 hours, right? So maybe you can almost always turn it into an advantage in that manner. But almost always, I think what you are asking is great questions. Notice them, but intentionally ignore them. And when you ignore them, you can mention some, you know, like you, you are prepared to defend it. Yep. Does that, does that make sense? Yes, yes, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so if you want to give update, update. But otherwise, I would really love if some, just some of you just, you know, you don't have to say much. You just only have to say open it and then, you know, just verbalize how you, for example, how you see just with the same pace that you would be exploring, um, just looking at the job and, and verbalize how you would feel, how you would think, even when you are confused, for example, it's like, and I don't know how to think about this, maybe like, let me check another one. So if you can verbalize that while browsing, that would be excellent and it would help others. And at the same time, I would also provide my feedback on, on a number of things, including we might see challenges that you might, we might be uh, facing. Okay, so, you know, whatever you do, make sure, you know, know that it will also help others, right? So that's not only for you, but in a way, maybe Eros, if you can do it, uh, just given that you used to have an issue and I hope it's fixed currently. So even if you don't say, even if you, you are unable to talk, you can just say, I'm unable to talk, but if you can project, that would be excellent. You know, those of you who had issues, I would encourage that. Yeah, my backer. Uh, so w issues on lip or in general? No, I, I'm more like I want to just you to prove, you know, to to just share your screen while exploring in lip, right? The job. Okay. And verbalize how you see it and and just, you know, like or super like or skip and see how things work. So it's much more of like, you know, it's if it's a game, just show us play. That's what I'm asking. So, um... Okay, it was like, I understand. So Abu Bakr, maybe do you wanna? Yeah, power was out, but it's... Okay. I'm sitting on my PC now. I will do that shortly. Okay, good. Yeah, Japanese. Let me try to share my screen. Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah. Can you see my screen? Yes, we do see your screen. Okay. So this kind of jobs I usually get when I uh, browse the lib data analyst. And what I try to see is first the relevant competencies. So this includes the data analyst, programming language, professional community, and data engineering. So uh, since I chose the generative AI uh, I don't think this is for me, but I try to go in details, try to see the uh, re required qualifications. Uh, so it requires working knowledge in Microsoft Office, yes, 365 and Power BI. Uh, so I know uh, Office very well, but uh, I'm not competent in Power BI, but I will try uh, to catch up that. Uh, and there is also preferred qualifications. Uh, it says supplied uh, chain management, working knowledge of database, including not limited to SQL, Tableau, and also Python. So I know SQL and Python, but not uh, Tableau. So um, that's also another thing I will see. Uh, and also I'll, I'll try to see the job competency. Uh, 
attention. The, the, so this is uh, the CFR level is three. So maybe I can be content on that. Uh, but the match score is 58. Uh, so I have, uh, I think we can only super like or you can generate a cover letter if you have much score above 60. But uh, uh, I try to see this one uh, mm -hmm. so that I can view details and apply if I think it, I will be content on that. Yeah. So, what so would you do? I will say, I will, action, I will say. Uh, not uh, liking these responsibilities. It's different for me, and I will, I will skip it. Yeah. Okay. So th that means so this is good. I mean, overall, the general aspect what I see from you is good. So now, just before we go to another one, so it means for you, like you, you really don't want to work, even if they give you the job. You don't want to work on on these areas right as a data analyst so that's you are more like not increasing your probability of getting a job but more also i, I mean this is i mean it's just if my tone sounds like another way just don't don't consider it i'm just more asking so you would be much more focused in getting jobs like with a title that is much more aligned in the generative ai space right is that Yes, yeah, I first yeah. choose generative AI or uh, yeah. at least machine learning. Uh, so yeah. I try to use those, these two. Okay, good. No, it's just good. So that means it is your, like, the previous job might be fitting you and you might, you know, get that job, but you don't care because that's not what you want. So that's good. Like, you know, knowing yourself just means it's good. Okay, yeah, explore. Just let's do at least three, four minimum, and then just you can go through faster if you like for example if this is similar like for example you can um and you, so yeah go on okay i think this is similar but uh, i have a, a better match score i think this is 65 so if if this is 65 i will i will i will trust the the match score and i will uh, uh, will like and i will try to Super like this one. So sh yeah. should I continue on this one? Yeah, yeah, please. Because you so know, for me, like first we are seeing that it this is working as expected. So nothing and things that you see are good, but and and just go. Yeah, I think it will help others. And if anyone else has also a question, you can also ask. I mean, it's more like this is what I want um like the interaction to be yeah go on okay uh, and this is a data engineering uh, so i i uh, i'm not in the past for data engineering uh, so uh, i will skip this one so on uh, python developer i think uh, i believe that i will be competent uh, on this one because I have uh, good experience in Python. So I uh, will see this one and uh, I think usually I, I apply for Python developer. So, but this is 50% uh, uh, match score. So I can't actually uh, use my but, but, uh, generated. Okay, uh, so, so now, now there are two things. One is you may generate and others you might it doesn't matter you can apply with your um with your just cv right standard cv yeah. or just one of the generated one you can apply right in a way that you can really maximize as long as you are interested so again you know the, the honest is that of course we will not look in detail everything and of course what i hope you come back and then you look at this in more detail including you know you know, mirror simulating yourself, but it's it is that aspect that is in reality. Would I do it even myself, even if I believe in it? I think pick, picking up, for example, from your exploration, this is great. Like you have a clarity that's also great. Um, I would be less focusing now on the match score, 
given that the match score just only tells me a lot more, I can click sometimes why match, match score. So for example, you didn't click the match score aspect. If you click the match score, it may be that, you know, you should not, this is good for me because you're not taking it from on literally that 50%, right? It may be actually 40% and it might be an incredible match uh, because the algorithm might not be as as it work, working as expected or you didn't probably have specified all your data. So if you click match score, for example, so, you know, do you agree with these competencies that are, you know, so for example, if the small one, like the, the communication, you know, is that correct? For example, I think that's not correct for you. It's just, if you look at, if you expand maybe the communication, you know, the main part maybe is just that you have a sphere level of one. And I would be a lot more thinking, actually, that's not me, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's what is actually leading to this. And I would ask for, you know, change. If you don't do that, that means you're just taking literally and you're not benefiting from the system. You're not upgrading the system to actually match you, right? And so I would say, I think for this, I would then go to the profile. If you go to the profile, just on there, yeah. would change the icons, don't worry. Okay, so if you now go to skill, so first, just while you are here, let's just see the feature that you might not have looked. So can you see after just on the side of upload profile? If you click that, you get a CV, you know, um, a lot more that just is um, that we are going to be working actually on HTML uh, customized way of just this one you can print i mean if you just say it's download i think on the top there should be download but i'm not sure um yeah there should be download and you can download a pdf right so of course you have already a cv so you probably don't need it but this one is supposed to give you like from here you should probably choose certain templates and then you should be able to to get actually a cv hopefully an intelligent cv even here just that are much more that comes from the previously um, made CVs as well in terms of content. So I would say that's one aspect, but just like, like we, you can ignore it or you can download it. Uh, yeah, Abu Bakr, you can ask. Okay, so uh, this CV, is it based on the LinkedIn or is it like uh, yes. based on our competencies or the job? Yeah. It's, I think it's the, no, it's not, Currently, it's just based on your competencies, which are computed. As you can see, like, for example, this was not in your uh, LinkedIn, the competencies, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. and these are filtered normally above one, but we can filter, you know, like there should be just a, an adjustment to generate it. So there would be variables, like we're just adding that those features, but this is just supposed to give you a quick way I mean, if you have already a CV, so you don't, you may not need this at this point, but in the future, you might actually need just different customization on the fly um, uh, from basically selecting, for example, from all your personal statements that are generated before, from all the kind of jobs, like, just like sections in the TNX challenge, you can just, you know, mix and match. So this is just a starting point for that. Just. Um, yeah, but currently it's just a co a comp you know a combination of all that all what you have before. Um, so it's just what is your profile. So if you go back, Japanese. Um, and then if you just go to the skills, I would then go to the communication. We would also make it searchable. This one, or at least you can see. Um, so yeah so that one sphere level one and if you can click it if you click the whole thing you you just be able to yeah and you can add evidence so 
just suggesting that you're actually yeah so if you add evidence and you can just source is for example your slack and gmit you can just say uh, gmit and just you don't need to probably mention like the source and you can show what's your competency in terms of the di the dimensions right so for example like the autonomy like you, you can choose some of you know like so these me meanings like you can check them but autonomy means you really can in this skill especially your business knowledge is more important communication so maybe even autonomy you can forget it and you can just say only the business skill the business and this one what expect i would expect you to be able to say you know three level and then you don't need to add another one so for example on the sphere level submit you know uh, requested you can put again three and you can justify why there just on the remark that you have been active participant and you have been presenting your work um So this you have to know this is what would be visible as well for the llm as it compiles right your um your cvs so that actually writing here things that matter is useful right in a way that we will approve and then when we approve it will go to the, the llm and the llm will just know what you have done from here right from these evidences so writing things that matters like you know that that you want to influence that is good yeah Abu Bakr. Uh, so this the remark should be uh, as details uh, as detailed as possible so to be yeah to you be know. Really right. okay. exactly so you can really mention your experiences so that means as you can see for all of the um your competencies you can actually influence it right uh, your cv generation and your match and this is what we want i think if there is any innovation in in leap you know you might think it's a job no we think it's the profile and i think i am betting a lot more on the profile aspect of it because that's that is a communication to you know like influencing the whole thing the, the central piece is here so if you don't correct it you would always get you know you don't change things so Japanese, then this is great. Now you can then update. So in principle, then when it updates, if you refresh, your request should come here. So just let's just refresh it just so that we know. Um, and otherwise, if it's not coming, then we'll ask the front end team why. And then you go to again, yeah, these things we just would search, hopefully. Um, yeah, the communication if you open. So it's not here, right? Your request is not here. Um, we would, we would, it is in the database, so it's okay. We will see it from our side because we have also uh, an admin board where every request will be just right now quickly um, review and, and submit, right? So, yeah, but you can go back to the job now knowing that. So I would say, so, you know, the lesson here is that just that number, don't take it that serious. If you want it, just super like it or like it. It's still, you would see it if you go to, for example, then the reactions. So if you like, okay, this one, you know, do what you want. Um, so before like react, just, um, yeah. And the dates, that's great, the things. Yeah, go on then proceed Jeff is just talking sorry I was hijacked oh so sh I should give back to the okay I kind of play this one uh, for, for later yeah okay if you apply even on the fly that is if you are already like for example if you super so how much is the score that's 50 probably you might not um 
generate but that is so if you go now to just before you react on this one so you can go to the for example the reactions your jobs the, the list of jobs and maybe just there you can just see if it is in the leap so in the leap section you know if it's the earlier one is generated and you can use it so for example can we see just the, the cv for this one and so maybe that can you use this one in principle um, and you can see sometimes um so you can look at this one and maybe you can use this one even as as a general especially the yours especially if you look if you expand it a little bit just so that we can see and if you go to the statement the personal statement okay so you had it was not generated the personal statement and i don't know why it should have in principle um so i think so here for example one aspect i would i would use this one so before i i generate the next one i would go to my profile and fill the details such as phone um things that you want to add right so this should be because you want if you want to add your phone if you want to add your image and stuff like you should be feeling those actually uh, in your pro profile in the in your bio because that one comes directly you don't need approval so for all the other things that you need just you could actually that can come and that would influence that means basically those values that you provide your next CV will be generated based on that as well. So if you are happy, for example, with this one, you can apply with this actually anything, right? It's of course it focuses a lot more your experience on work in data engineering and uh, sales engineering aspect of it. And you know, so that's that's actually more suitable for data engineering and data analyst. So maybe you want to wait until you generate, but yeah, for that job. If you want to apply it with the generated CV, you can wait until you find another match that are along the same space and you just generate. If you ask that, if you if you go back and check the cover later. So this one is, of course, um, this is a data analyst position. And so you, this one, you might not use it directly, right? Because it's very specific on what you have but the i think you can actually edit this in principle um or you can have your own already prepared uh cover letter just for that so i would say one aspect of increasing your application is that while still you are exploring you wait until another something similar like Python developer type comes with a higher um, degree and with a higher match. And then you super like, you generate for that. And then you use that for a number of those that you market. So for example, if you go back then to the 10X, like, sorry, to the leap, and then you can actually still super like the one. So if you go back to your uh, leap, just you can press the home or the, the fingers, like that's the frog fingers, you, it will just take you. So you can actually hear super, you know, super like it to actually um, as well get it later, right? Just to apply for it. Okay. So how do you feel now? Like, and you know, so this is good. And the strategies is that, you know, workable? Yes. Uh, I think especially the method you said that we can uh, generate C uh, the CV and the cover letter for a specific type of uh, job, and then we can reuse it maybe for those we don't, we don't, which we don't exactly. have. Even if you don't have exactly the score. So I think the score also, make sure to influence it, because whatever the score is also comes in your CV. So by mentioning, as I was saying, it's really, I think this is just where I would be much more excited about Leap is it is as you 
progress more and if you consume more and learn more you, you see you're not seeing only the job like okay the job you're seeing it from your side portfolio side what should i add in my portfolio and my bio and things that i can influence and so that way of thinking it, it, it communicates that's why i wanted you to focus as well on the purpose the duties and responsibilities as much as possible get things from it because and then just like be very creative how you would be because once you got used to that pattern it gets easier okay and and there are many ways you can reuse things there are you know you can go to the folder right so if you go to your google like to the reactions part or to the lift part so you go to the reactions and then the lift so there for example in the lift one so like the assets part so you can go to the folder right so if you go to the folder then you get an actual the json and all that and we will give you you can just edit the json and generate again you know we will give you just a package just just to you know the latex part for example if you just even open it the latex part so just that one latex dot, dot, dot tx dot tx is a latex and you can copy the whole thing just you know copy the whole thing just the whole text from here just you can control it or something you know and then you can go to overleaf so there is if you just type in in um, your terminal like in your browser you open overleaf so this one you can actually i mean you, you need just to log in and it's you know uh, you can sign up with google so now you can just choose empty if you want create a new, a new project. project yes Blank. and give it just cv1 you know whatever cv a data analyst So in principle, we will provide again. So right now, so just delete all, control A, and then delete uh, the things here, and then just paste what you have. So normally, because you don't have the styling there, so it might, so it's compiling live, right? So of course it will get it wrong, um, but we will give you all of them that like today we will share. So basically you, you can put in all of them as a shared, uh, um styling and that's it you know all you have is then you can change here everything and you just directly generate pdf and all you have to do then is afterwards just pdf so this is an easy way to even just customize things right so this is i mean yeah it's like when it recompiles it's just because it doesn't have the style so but we will provide and this is the easy way for to work on on the latex aspect and just add anything you don't want add you know things that you want directly and just generate the pdf and okay Oops. so and then if you go back again to the folder you know, to the google folder and um, just if you quit so you have also this the text so the cl which is the cover letter takes to the txt so you can also just copy that one, right? You, I mean, of course, from the PDF, you can copy too, but that's it, right? And you can customize here as well, just in, in anything. So there is lots of ways you can reuse. So right now you have only one, but as you can imagine, if you have, once you have sufficient, it's just as the limit, you know, the combinations you can do is a lot. So you don't have to wait um, for that, okay? Good. Hopefully that was that is that gives you even if you explore and this and you finish. I think I would want you really all of you to challenge me so that you you finished 
all of the jobs that are available and that you then go back and work in terms of the aspect of you know okay like you know going and expanding so if you go to the reaction for example back to the leap and then just on the re on the engagements and you can expand some of the the things right so just if you expand the first one for example so then you will get yeah so you can work on it here as well just um, um let's see why it's waiting okay so that seems there is a bug there so we'll just but in principle this should work um if you reload it i think it somehow works most of the time it's just the first one um it sometimes doesn't i think that's a bug yeah okay so i will i will ask um the other team just to look into it so, but this this way you can actually go and explore back. Um, so, okay, good. Any question, Japes? Uh, not from, uh, usually. Uh, the other thing is that I usually get uh, similar uh, job titles. That that should be usually, fixed now. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see now, you didn't, right? Yeah. Yesterday I browse. Uh, and I find this similar data analyst, data engineering, usually these two and Python developer and Django. These are the usually the titles that okay. So maybe just explore it while we are also here and let us know. Okay. Okay, great. Thanks, thanks, Jappe. So Abu Thank Bakr. You Thank you. Okay. Uh, so I have like three questions on leap yeah yeah so, while presenting you can also just show us so that it, it okay. maximizes yeah okay can you can you see the screen yes it's coming yeah so i'm using chrome because uh, it, my my initial is Page. So I and usually it's not use it. Yeah. Like uh, it's even working. the Tenix platform uh, had bugs. I think I wrote okay. some of them on on the support support Slack channel. Okay. Yeah, so, I think yeah, this, is that related to the same extensions that yesterday one other person no. had? No, okay. But why why is it working on age? Because I always use age, and it's working for me. Uh, let me show you. Uh, yeah, just... because I'm I'm like. It is I am always using age. So why is it different? Your age is different from my age. Uh, like when I switch to uh, Chrome, uh, for, initially I use I used to do on age, uh, all the things only. But uh, recently. It just doesn't show it's used to for example the jobs wouldn't come out come up okay. and so just show me because i'm i'm i use age so even okay. now like you know like for for all practical purposes i use age this like I, I use both like chrome age and others just for separation of work so it is uh, interesting So the the this is how it is. You can see you can see the screen, right? So maybe this is about extensions. Like so, I think they they understood there are some extensions that are yeah, a lot of interfering. Okay, so we, they are trying to fix because of yesterday also they saw, but it's not because of it's in the age. It's I think there is one extension that that's changing the. Um, what you call the like the CSS aspect of it? Okay, so okay, I I will look into that. Yeah. So let me let me switch to Chrome once. Yeah. 
So yeah, uh, the, f the first one is I actually found out this is a simple question. So there is, uh, I was in, uh, including my personal information. So what what is this for? What is this field for the third one? So this one is like example LinkedIn. So I imported GitHub. So what is this one? Like, is that a description or something like that? Yeah, I think mostly is that what it, it's, is that just in your personal information? Is that the tags? I think if it's the tags, so is that just um, not okay, sure? so yeah, okay. I just say it. Media. media. Ah, is that the yeah. media? Okay, it's, yeah, it's for yeah. media. It's icon. It's the icon. Okay, the so, link for an icon. For an icon, yeah. But okay. Yeah, okay. if you don't want to just put the empty. Yeah. Okay, so th this was basically one of my question. So. Okay, let me just finish that. So and the do that, uh, it is, is it updating? Just one aspect that I just want you to okay. to see because this immediately should be updated. It's because you don't need verification for that. So was it okay. updated? So like what you shall have, I what shall I open added? it? Yeah. So if you just yeah, open it and see, let's see exactly. No, no, I don't think so. It's not updating. No, no, not this one. So you can close it, maybe just refresh it so that you can see. Okay. Because just that I, I would imagine this should be updated. And if it's not, it is a very quick thing. So it will just give us feedback. So has there been, a, no, it's not updated, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yes. we'll just fix that um, immediately. Yes. And this should be, this should be coming, reflecting immediately and in all of um, what you do. Okay. okay so basically uh, this this was my initial one so is uh, i want to ask also is there any way to add custom jobs for example some of the jobs we can add like link the description and everything so we can generate the cv or yeah. cover letter yeah so um tomorrow the, tonight there will be the, that feature released so if you go back to the leap just the main like the the page the home page or that means just the, the uh, landing okay so you, the landing you can just press either the logo or or the home you can get their pose so in the one that include your next job right now it's not implemented but today tomorrow you can actually give um two things on that one if you, you can expand it now so now it's different so if you expand it the one Which just one? that's below the one below the rating okay this one yeah that one and there mm -hmm. what you would do is that one is the link and the second part would be i mean right now it's not implemented but one is the link and the second part is the um applied or not the status um and so okay. then it, you will see it if you haven't applied but you want to apply it then it will go into your carousel basically into your queue so that it will come after a couple of them, um, you will be able to see it. And if you have so, already applied, it will come as just all the whatever will come in your reactions. So it, th this is where we put a new link for a new job and or? Yes, so just your, whatever job you get. So you will, you, will, you will just, you can put it there and then it will come either to be reviewed by you again you know as part of your queue or okay. as part of if you have if you just choose that i have applied to it or i you know whatever then it will come in your reaction okay that that, so that would be really helpful yeah that's the feature that is in the yeah. pipeline to be added okay that that's great so yeah on uh, super like thing so uh I, I see that I think uh, Javis mentioned it, but yeah, as when I actually it, it was stuck on loop for uh, around three days. In this uh, this uh, like Windows AI software engineer at Nvidia, I I actually applied like five days ago. Yeah. So okay. So then let's skip it. Let uh, let's let's see. Just skip it. So just let's just explore. So for now, like with you, what I would do is just, you can um, go back and some of them you can just like, I mean, if this is the case, like like it and like it, just so that you can have it in your reactions later. So just for now, 
just let's let's just go you know quickly by just liking without exploring anything it's, you know just only the middle one like it just and and later like you can you can do it so are these is this job also the one you saw before yes yeah yeah so do the same so the ones you saw just let's do quickly um going through it until you see something that you haven't seen because i want to see it's, it's still, this is the same still yeah so shall i dislike it the second time no, no it's, it's fine okay. i think it's fine it's like okay. if you like it i mean you know what you reacted before so if you don't like it just you yeah, can actually yeah. just skip it yeah most of most you of them just... i just i just like the uh, responsibilities and the roles yeah so like or skip and then we would just see until oh this is a new one okay so now like let's just do here as well just like if this is what you like you can like or super like and then like because this is a new one mm, okay maybe let's let's take some time exactly how you would see it just okay. you know, take us yeah. through yeah so i would actually search for early career what does that mean so because this is somewhat different so i would just look so uh, this is what i do the usual way right yeah i will just show you the usual exactly. so so it's just to make sure not to actually have my own opinion i'm searching this so it probably means in three so yeah associates so i usually don't skip to the svr levels but i'll just see the required qualifications i think it seems really nice i would i would actually apply uh, yeah there are some interesting things like i know some alt etls sql and it has for one plus years so yeah it seems good but they are not the detail as details that uh, the Maybe previous just you, can, you can see the view detail like the job the view details okay yeah like maybe that would help yeah yes this yeah. is expert so this is something to actually skip but sometimes i would actually go to the their website so to actually yeah. excellent yeah i think this is the, the type the type of ways that i wanted actually exactly this is what you should do because maybe that they have other open positions um, yeah. if they hire and then they are requiring that maybe that's you know good one okay that's excellent so i would i would see the what they do for example if it is actually interesting for me and yeah most of the time i would just see careers yeah so yeah i would uh, i'll probably uh, to influence it i would probably like the roles responsibilities or, or even the required attributes because i was actually going to apply so i yeah. i most of the time tick all the things and yes interested maybe similar jobs will come up fantastic yeah so data scientist yeah uh, i i actually don't skip based on this but i will i would look twice so the i would for example look for the requirements the responsibilities i would just see them so extract data python yeah it seems interesting so it's also the most restricted i would i would look this twice also so i i most of the time i don't skip unless it is like something that that is off the limit so maybe i will show you once it comes up so this actually seems seems great so i i like things that are data related that i can contribute in software engineering yeah not in not necessarily on generative ai yeah. so yeah it seems like a good 
place to actually apply. Yeah. So I'll just do the same thing again. So yeah, yeah. I'll just see details. So if the job is not is no longer there, I will just say I will just give uh, likes in it. The other things. So yeah, once here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. One thing I actually forgot to say was like when I go to uh, the recruiter in the initial days where where we started doing applying on Leap. So there there is no link on. Shall we just log in or is it less? There is no link for the website or something mm. like that. So maybe so you can find the same job. To, to so sometimes that. you can find the same job. Yeah. Uh, on so I would do like this one. So for example, to, just to save time, I would just search just, this one. Exactly. Yeah. So most of the time, LinkedIn will come up. Most of the time, I uh, the the like for the past days, the detail was not there. So I would just do this in mostly find the job yeah so seems one this one is uh, relevant so i'll just see their career sites so it seems yeah. like uh, yeah yeah i'll just do this so i would like this this one so, but so it's this just, is he says he cannot see the view details uh johannes is that the view details like it's if Johannes, if that is the case, maybe you clear the cache because in principle that should not happen now. And if so, just skip through a bit more, just so that maybe you have an older like two three maybe that that has been old uh, that was not fixed. So that because you know we are queuing the, the job card. Sometimes if it has already been queued, you might um, see that. But it should come after two three whatever it should come. So I would say just skip through and then you will be able to see okay great so this one then what what's yeah so you would would just choose and then what is your yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, mostly i would just apply so yeah. I, I wouldn't find it here i would search it and come here to yeah. see their career section and everything if i got the uh, if I got the link to apply, I would just apply. So if not, I would just like it. So and skip. So I wouldn't and even just... if, for example, for example, it's like even if for this one you might not, yeah, you might like, but if you have a class of jobs that are like this, and if you want to generate, you could also just super like and with the match if the match is good, so that you have it in the collection, right? For first, yeah. For yeah. First. So, yeah. yeah, but uh, so the the that's... thing with super like was uh, on the first on the on the first day of the week I I ran out of uh, yes. like super likes and uh, I think it will just not move to the next no, job. Yeah. yeah, so um, I think the, many of the, the issues should be fixed from you know like I think last night I, I I applied lots of other fixes. It should be working. I think as as expected now. So that's why you're seeing new jobs as well. I think there were just uh, some details. So hopefully, you know, push it, push to the extreme these things, and let us let's work. Like I think now, the basic aspect of exploring, getting the jobs, getting new ones, the ones that are work should work. And so yes, I think what you are exactly doing is excellent. I hope everyone else is also like the same as what you're doing. And Japanese was showing, you know explore all features and don't trust only just the match score yet um over time it gets better but i would say just um also check sometimes the match score so that you can correct and, and then your profile almost always part of the time should be about your profile and part of the time it's about the job because the two are connected right building your profile is very essential um so it's going back and forth between your profile your match score and especially for a new classes of things um, and if it's lower why it's low and just checking these things is very essential so mm. i think the process is good um yeah please explore push break the system and just let us know and i think as you yeah hopefully that we then have quality jobs that we see and quality cvs and quality cover letters 
um, you know, and, and just apply and reuse most of them, not just only, you know, for the ones that just as above high score, but just for everything that we want, then we use them and we apply, you know. And as I was showing earlier, you can use Overleaf to even just to create. So we will share both locally. You can actually generate the PDF, just PDF LaTeX. You know, you can just download the zipped file from the the Google folder. You can just go and in the Google folder and then just put it and then, you know, log in there and PDF LaTeX by correcting and you can do it. But you don't need all that. You can also just take it to the Overleaf and Overleaf just gives you a visible, a view, uh, a viewable LaTeX editor. And just after correcting, you can apply it, you know, you can use it, reuse it. And, and so really benefit from the whole aspect and become creative to really apply as much with the smallest effort, but with a higher quality, you know, personalized way. Okay. So on the overleaf part, so it's like I from what Javis has pasted, it seems like a journal or is that a CV or it's a CV, just, I mean, so it's a LaTeX editor. And LaTeX is just, for those of you who don't know, many of the research papers are written by LaTeX, right? Oh. If you are, so getting used to it is also good because any research paper, most of it is written by LaTeX. That means it is how you create programmatically PDFs, right? And so it is, it's good to know it. And the syntax are very similar, you know, very easy. Um, and and having you know being in overleaf is also good in any way, actually, because for any research work you would use overleaf um, extensively. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you can style, for example, with LaTeX yeah, you can style anything. You know, it's more like uh, you know the other version of HTML and CSS LaTeX, and you know LaTeX is basically just programmatically. You can style every aspect of a PDF body. Okay, yeah. So I I I saw that it was like uh, the font was like a scientific or research paper. Some it look, it looked like. But that, also so, you no. Know, but for CV, they have lots of yeah. styles. Even once you have, once once you have a thing, if you want to change style, you can also adopt lots of styles. Like there are many styles um, that you can adopt. So they have CV sections that they, you can actually use as well. Yeah. Wonderful. OK, just in the interest of time, we'll stop here. But we'll continue tomorrow as well, this one. And just any issue that you experience, please let us know promptly. And we would, yeah, Johannes. Yeah, I just want to say as a few details, but is now working for me. Fantastic, yeah. Yeah, I think it, uh, you know, it took us a slightly a bit more time than we expect to fix most of the issues, but let's be assured that this is gonna be as smooth and as you know. Of course, we want to increase the number of jobs that you apply, but with the quality material, and with you should be just much more thinking about this one as marketing and branding, that your branding is being done together with the exploration. And every exploration, it's adding for the next job. So that means it is, you know, building on top of, you know, once you apply for one because you corrected your portfolio, you adjusted, and that would reflect on the next one. As you can imagine, you know, by the next month you are doing, you should you would be just generating really excellent uh, and very fine tuned, personalized cover letter and 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 one. So don't think of it just the the weeks that are here. But you know the the two months that we are we are going to have. So next week will be the month um, baseline. But expect in the in the second month and third months, once you really make sure your portfolios are very well established, you know it's just going to be super super um, focused and super um, um, let's say precise in terms of wording and would be much more hopefully you know in the second months we are talking about details about the character you use, the, the the kind of word choices and things like that, because those are just branding, you know, ultimately an ad, you are sending an ad. Um, and so it is about really crafting the ad and a lot of ads are not seen. You have to know about ads. Ads are very much, you know, rejected most of the time, but they still influence the whole world. 
you know, trillions of dollars are invested in ads because they they are, you know, the people who, who create them influence us even without us knowing it. And I think the same can be done um, for your profile, right? So it's just it's in the wording, in the one character, in the one word choice, in the or in the order where it was given and things like that. So hopefully we'll get there and help us. Let's help you and you help us as well. And together with that, you maximize your chance, right? So if you don't apply enough, you know, in hundreds, maybe that you don't maximize. But if you apply in hundreds because it's a system is fast enough, gets you like, as you can see now, the jobs are coming from everywhere that you would not necessarily see. Um, by having that, by max, by casting our net, in our effort to actually apply to benefit from those resources, and then personalizing things, there is, there is, there should be no way that we will, you know, we will secure a job, um, and in the process learn and and grow. Okay, so yeah, we'll, I will leave you with that. Make sure to, you know, push the limits and break the system and become like. You know where is my job you know it's like because you just finish them explore them and and after you finish also you go through and 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 see your things so hopefully we'll get to that that push and pull um, part okay great thanks everyone cheers okay then academy we can stop the recording